What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, we're going to be talking about Chinese New Year, because this whole week, we've been talking about, is this event worth doing, is it worth passing up, Chinese New Year is typically one of the best, and we keep talking about it, we keep saying it, uh, but people that are newer to the game might be like, well, what does the event actually look like, because I don't trust anybody, and I want to make my own decision, so what we're going to do here, is take a retrospect at the past couple years Chinese New Year, <clears throat> now last year was interesting because last year was one of the few Chinese New Year's that fell in January. So we had a very interesting situation where we kind of had like a hero come out very quickly with a transcendence hero as well. Uh, it was just really weird because typically it's in February. Typically it actually lines up pretty close to Valentine's Day in February, but uh, and it's going to be the same this year as well. If you guys don't know, I'm going to. I'm gonna... 2024 Chinese New Year starts on uh Saturday, February 10th. So that essentially means starting the 8th, 9th, that week is going to be it. And the 14th of February, which is Valentine's Day, falls in that same week. Again, typically Chinese New Year is a two-week event with nothing new on the second week, mainly because the developers are in China and they usually get two weeks completely off. So we'll see if that's the same here. Let's take a look at back, like past events because it'll give you a good idea of what you want to have. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Hopefully you guys can use this and make a good decision about this week's Heroic Summon event, which is not amazing unless you super high roll. Let's jump right into it. So let's first look back to 2022. It was on February 1st, which barely made it into the February month, but it did make like the past two years or so before that also in February. It was, again, a heroic summoning event. It always is. Uh, we did have the special rewards coming in the form of the heroic summoning loops. You can see not much has changed in two years as far as this goes right here. I think this is when we started having the prey hero as well which is pretty cool. Uh, there was the Palace of Eternity. We did have, you know, the Altar Shot, which, man, hero copies just are not needed anymore. There was a simple check-in for the 14 days. So you can see, uh, I would assume maybe in 2024, we have something similar as well. Maybe not a 14-day, although, like I said, it's usually a two-week event. So at least they're giving you something every single day. Uh, and you can also see how more giving they are nowadays because we get a lot more loot than this. This is like the bare minimum back in the day. Uh, and nowadays it seems like our check-ins are way better, especially like anniversary. We get like hundreds of scrolls, all that fun stuff. There was a temple fair event. Uh, so essentially you could get these cookies here, right here. How many did you get every loot? One, two, three, four, five, 240 a thousand that's 1200 you could get so essentially if you did a full loop uh you could get a paid one artifact chest at that time there were no sublimations there were no cores of origin paid one artifacts were still at the top and same with uh cores of transcendence as well as cloud island materials so you can kind of see what the value was back then uh there was also a mission event where you could get additional cookies as well it looks like so you could actually get multiple artifacts uh again maybe save your tavern scrolls up like we did for christmas uh save those up or was it new year i think it was regular new year yeah um it was also building the hero up eos to certain levels here uh there oh this was the one where it was like yeah eos was like the regular five star hero that came out at christmas that was nerfed before it even came out uh and then we got sun devour eos coming out decoration missions uh there's this kind of spin wheel which was kind of cool i think this was one where you just invested gems into it and you got rewards back based on the percentage here uh there was the new year growth plan which i wouldn't be surprised if they update this once again this is usually good for low spenders on brand new accounts it makes it very easy to build a hero uh there is of course the transcendence fight which we'll have as well it, we had a new year relay which kind of holds like the similar value although we do get more scrolls and and cores nowadays too so i would expect something a little bit bigger too we had eos coming out which was cool we had value packages that had the resource in it i don't think that's what we're gonna have i think we're gonna have the typical quest system that we do nowadays and you can kind of see all the events that were available during that year so that was 2022 we take a look at 2023 here this is where phantom defier elena came out again heroic scrolls and gems as your daily rewards going for uh, elena was the up hero i want to say 
I don't, I don't know why. I want to say last year because it was so early in January. It was literally the next month after the Christmas event. I think we got Elena and Phantom to fire Elena on the same week. I think. I'm pretty sure that's what happened here. Uh, so, yeah, Palace of Crystal. We did have this Temple Fair here. And you can see there were different routes that you could go and then you could complete all. I think it was easy to do this one. It was much more difficult to do this side. But essentially, you could like take a path and get the pay to one artifact. Which again, at the time, pay to one artifacts were still like the premium thing as well as star spawn cores. Uh, so you can see there were a lot of different resources you got. And you got these... Uh, these event currencies too on top of that uh it wasn't arania but i put it in here because they didn't actually have a slide with phantom the fire lana with the quest system but again we had a very similar quest system to this heroic strolls get five star heroes spend vip and awaken hero soul so we should have something like that i imagine this year coming up uh, there was the New York Goods store. This is where you could cash those little, I forget what they actually called the currency and what they were. Uh, I want to say they look like dumplings or something, but they look gold at the same time. I think you could get 30 is essentially what you could get from this. Oh, no, no, that's right. You couldn't complete all, but you could do like a bunch of them down here or something like that. I think what you could get was like down to the 150 mark. So you get like 36 of them. If I remember correctly, so it did get you a sublimation chest, uh, which was pretty decent for you to play. However, uh, you had to do quite a bit of the quest system to get it done. I, I feel like last year's wasn't a super amazing one. Uh, so the prosperity bags was really good. This is another one that we had at New Year where, you know, you open uh, where the, what was open at New Year. Forget what it was, but you open stuff, you get random resources depending on which one you open, and then there were the different goal rewards for the lucky number stuff that you got at the end of the week. I kind of hope this is back, and I hope there's more B pluses available at lower tiers, like maybe up here somewhere. We'll have to see, but this is essentially the event we had this year at regular New Year. We had it last year at Chinese New Year. I would expect maybe the same event once again. These events are always really, really good for free-to-play players and spenders alike. There was a New Year growth plan, and this one was an interesting one. So just by doing the normal growth plan, you got this left track right here. Uh, the middle one, it wasn't a pick like you did in the old days. It just gave you LOEs because, again, if, if you're on a brand-new account, this LOEs pack was insane value-wise. even gave you her skin, puppets, everything to take her up to, I think, E3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 seven eight copies so almost e4 really and then if you did unlock the 50 dollars, which was not like 30 and then another 20 it was 30 and then 50 you also got prism starry gems out of it just by doing the quest uh how much did that give you one two three four five six nine ten one nine ten well, that's pretty good Forty thousand for fifty, yeah, or not forty. Four thousand for fifty. Uh, that's pretty good value as far as value goes. There was a transcendence fight, of course, as well. Yeah, everything seemed the same. There was a gala specifically for Phantom Defiant Lane. I kind of hope they don't have that type of thing, but they probably will. Uh, Heroes, another New Year's relay that had you know some of those extra bags in here with skin value package the usual so let me know what you guys think that is kind of what you can expect you can kind of see both events were pretty similar and honestly i feel like it'll be similar-ish to the regular new year event which was decent uh, i just don't know if it'll be god tier but it does seem like you might get better loot than spending 2000 heroic scrolls this week and it's up to you to kind of decide and gamble if it's worth it for your account to go in this week or wait for Chinese New Year in three weeks. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We got a ton of giveaways still going on. The iOS account, the other accounts. Uh, we're almost up to 91,000 subs. So thank you guys so much for the support so far. Hopefully 2024 is a good one for the channel. See you guys next time.